In MathCAD Prime 10.0, you can now use advanced inputs like checkboxes. Here I have a worksheet that is set up to calculate the diameter for a shaft that has a certain torsional moment. So for example, I can change the value of the torsion here. Let me change this to 6,000 and the diameter updates but I also have a checkbox where we can round the value appropriately. Let me change this to 7,000, and here is the rounded value. If I uncheck it, here is the exact value. I'll make this worksheet available on my Dropbox, but let me show you how to set this up. Let me go to a different window. And so here is the worksheet. We have our input that is entered, and the base formula is the angle of twist is a function of the torsional moment and the length and your diameter and your torsional modulus of elasticity. And so I've got some other values set up in here where we are limiting the amount of twist to one degree per linear foot. And so we have the actual function that is used to calculate the exact diameter. But then when you are rounding, well, there are certain rules for English units whereby if something is going to be less than half an inch, or excuse me, between half an inch and two and a half inches, you round up to the 16th inch. And then between two and a half inches and four inches, you round up to the eighth inch. And then for values larger than four inches, you round up to the quarter inch value. So that's what this program over here does. And so this is one of the areas that I have on my worksheet. I can calculate it. And then we can evaluate the exact diameter and the rounded diameter. So now let's set up where someone can choose whether they want to have the value rounded or not. So let me click on my worksheet. And I'm going to start off with defining a variable that I will call question. Now I need a definition operator. You can go to the math tab and then from the operators group, here we have the definition operator. The keyboard shortcut is the colon key. And this is going to be equal to, let me go to the input output tab, and then we have advanced. And the second option in here is a checkbox. When I click on that, it enters in a checkbox and the value is check me. Well, let me go ahead and select this and right mouse click on it and choose edit. And so here is the script editor and you have the drop down list where you can change between J script and VB script. VB script is being deprecated. And so you could change this if you want to, but all you really need to do is go to the properties tab and here you can change the text that is going to be in there. And so I'm going to change this text to rounded value. And there's also an option to have the text appear on the left hand side of the checkbox, but I'm not going to check that. Let's click the close button. And so here we have rounded value. And then let me show you what this evaluates to. Let me evaluate question, question equals. Right now it's a value of one. If we uncheck it, it's going to have a value of zero. If we check it, value of one uncheck value of zero. So there you see how it actually works in here. So let me take this math region and delete it as I no longer need it. Let me go back to this over here and actually unlike how wide it is, let me select it and I didn't want it to be two lines. So I'm actually going to make the math region wider and up in the controls group, we have the ability to hide the left hand side and we don't need to see that. So let me choose to hide it and then deselect. And so now we just have the radio button that someone can check or not. I'm just adjusting its location on the sheet. All right. So now I want to use the value of this checkbox in order to specify what diameter I actually want to report. So let me type in a new variable name and I'm going to call it diameter. And then we will use the definition operator again. I'll go to the math tab operators definition and I'm going to use a function. Let's go to the functions tab. 
Let me go to all functions. And we have a an if function for piecewise continuous functions where it is if a condition is true, you are going to perform one action. And if it is not true, if it is a zero value, you will do the second action. So let me double click on this in order to paste it into the sheet. And so in the first placeholder, I'm just going to put the name of that variable that I made for the checkbox. I'll just use question. I don't have to use any Boolean comparisons or anything because question is either a value of one or zero. So if the value is one, well, that's the action that we want to report in the second placeholder. And this is going to be the rounded value. So that is DIA underscore rounded. And then if question is not checked, it will have a value of zero. That means that we want the exact value. So DIA underscore exact. And so this is good. So now I've got my diameter value. Let me collapse my other region over here and then click and we will evaluate the diameter. This is going to be equal to. And based on my worksheet units, it's reporting it in feet. Let me take care of that. I'm going to change that feet to inches because that is what I want. And so this is equal to three and three quarter inches. Let's change this value over here. Let's change it to a value of 2000. And we see that it is three inches rounded, but here we have the value of 2.891 exact. Let's change this once more. Let's change it to a value of 1000. And we have the exact value. Here's the rounded value. And let's change it to even smaller value, 500 inch pounds. And so it can be pretty small. And let's uncheck this. And so it is going to be a slightly smaller value. But let's go back to the initial value of, actually, let's go real high, 50,000 inch pounds. And then round the value. And it is six and a half inches. So there you have it. That is how you can use checkboxes as advanced inputs in MathCAD Prime 10.0.